All right, let's get this Valorant game going. I'm about to get some dubs. What the hell is this? All right, let's try again. All right, hopefully, hopefully it's good. Come on. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mad Dog from Mad Dog Gaming coming at you once again with another how-to video. This time, it's going to be about the error code van. 9001 that we were all getting well not all but most of us were getting after the windows 11 update that wouldn't let you play valorant this error code stated that the build of vanguard requires tpm version 2.0 and secure boot to be enabled in order to play now i'll be showing you uh, in a little bit how to fix this error code um and let's get to it <laughs> So this error came to be because of a new update of Windows 11. Windows 11 on some computers was asking you about your TPM 2.0 security feature. And a lot of guys, a lot of people had to uh, enable this setting in order to be able to download Windows 11. But doing so made it so the Valorant game was not being able to play. And whenever you would boot up, it would show you that Van 9001 error code. Um, and now, what you have to do is restart your PC, and when you're going to restart, you're going to see two keys that you have to press. In my my personal computer, I believe it's Delete or F12. This is for Asus boot up, and now this is going to give you access to your BIOS settings. So when you do that, reboot, restart, press those keys. And now we're going to go into our next part of the of the video, which is going to look like I recorded it from a potato, but you, you'll, you'll see. So as you can see here, I am rebooting or restarting my computer. So you see here, Asus is going to show the F12 and delete on the bottom of the PC. So now here is my BIOS menu, my BIOS settings. So what you're going to do is go to advanced mode. Now you go to security, you go to advanced, and now AMD TPM configuration. This is going to show you what you changed on the previous to download. It used to be discrete and now it should be firmware TPM. This is to download Windows 11. If you gotta do Windows 11, then you have to go to firmware. Now, I'm gonna show you what you have to do to be able to enable Valorant. You go back to advanced settings, okay? You go to security, go to boot, go to OS type, and you're gonna change it from other OS to Windows UF, UEFI mode. When you change it to Windows UEFI mode, that's gonna enable Valorant and for you to be able to play it. You're gonna save and exit and it's gonna show you what change you did. You're gonna reboot and that should fix the problem.